If our flubber's going to be of any use to anyone, we've got to control it, right? So, we take an ordinary radioactive isotope. Now a sliding shutter to let just the right amount of gamma rays through to bombard the flubber. Now, we put it under here so that we can bombard the flubber with gamma rays to trigger the molecular change. Which is certainly more scientific than kicking it or bouncing it around the room. It's perfectly safe, Weevil. It's just an ordinary radioactive isotope that Weber is now removing from the lead containment unit. Very good, Weber. Now, you place the radioactive isotope carefully behind the sliding shutter. You see, the sliding shutter works just like a camera. It regulates the flow of gamma radiation. Instead of billions of random particles, you have a precise stream of energy. Now, we carefully place the sliding shutter mechanism underneath the flubber, and I'm burning up in here. We go. Over here. The gamma radiation triggers a metastable decay in the flubber itself, right. which releases enormous quantities of energy, and that's what propels the flubber. Of course. Now, doing it this way, I believe, is a lot more scientific than dropping it or kicking it or bombarding it with light bulb photon flashes. 